Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to another Star Wars Black Series review. We've got Luke Skywalker Imperial Light Cruiser. Uh, this one's just dropped here in Australia this last uh, week or two, I suppose. Um, yeah, really nice figure. I've seen a few reviews. Um, and yeah, I'm really, really stoked with this figure. The, the vintage collection version was just off the charts. In, incredible. And uh, to have this one in Black Series as well is... Uh, yeah, it's it's definitely a fantastic new Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight outfit, basically. A few little tweaks and differences, um, but uh, yeah, I believe they're going to reuse this sort of same sculpt for the Return of the Jedi uh, 40th anniversary uh, figure in really the next few months, I'd imagine. I wouldn't think they'd... They might wait till later in the year. But yeah, not going to dwell too long on the packaging. It is number 30, which is the Mandalorian. Has got a good set of Black Series figures now. Um, so yeah, he just comes with his lightsaber, which is a new sculpt, which is very nice. Well, at least at least I feel like it is. You know, these sort of new blades, which don't don't have like a peg. They just sort of slot in nicely. They don't. There's no pop. There's no risk of it snapping unless you you know really really vigorous with it. <laughs> uh, it does have the little hook there which will fit on Luke's belt. Again, still not sure about these little pegs. I guess they're better than what they've done in the past. Um, it just it does, it sits on there nicely. It's not gonna not gonna fall off super easily. Unless again you're violent with your figures. <laughs> But I think it, I think it looks nice on there. Um, you know, the peg is sort of small and insignificant. It sort of it doesn't sort of see itself as a peg when you're not using it. So yeah, it works. It works for me. So yeah, there's the lightsaber. We'll get that one out of the way for a moment. Um, yeah, much like the vintage collection one, the robe is what really sets this one off. It's really nicely sculpted. If you can get it to sit right. Which again, you know, it's we're talking about a you know pretty small size action figure. You know, they can't add wires and stuff into some of these. I know people do their own where they add wires in, um, but yeah, it's obviously not a cost-effective option to do that. So if you want to, if you want to make your own, go for it. But yeah, the the robe looks really nice going with the black as opposed to the Return of the Jedi where it was mainly brown like a really sort of deep dark brown he's gone full black this time and yeah just the way the hood sits it's nice and big sits well on itself just enough to sort of you know you can play with it a little bit more get it to sort of hide the top half of his face but then easily just lift straight off and then we get a fantastic looking Luke you know, this is uh, definitely the best one to date. Why they're still giving him a trigger finger, I don't know. <laughs> it's just the go-to standard for Black Series figures. Everyone gets a trigger finger. But when he's holding the lightsaber and you put it on the, uh, put it up on the raised bit of the saber, it looks quite good. So I'll keep it like that. But yeah, most of the nine, so most of the figure is is all new. I think it is all, overall all new. I did sort of compare even this part that's all new, um, just because it's separate parts. The joints down in the bottom of the waist there, whereas the Jedi Luke that came out a few years ago, it was using the old 2014 Luke Skywalker, but it had the sort of the rubber sort of tunic over the top. And that was all sort of just one piece. There was no separation in it. But underneath it's, uh, it looks like a nice base for a Jedi figure. Um, now with the new one that's gonna come out in Return of the Jedi, it does have the swap out piece in the chest. So I dare say it'll be a, a new chest. I don't think they need to change much else on that figure. But yeah, this one is really nice. Got all the articulation. Got the uh, the butterfly joints in the in the shoulders there. You can get a, get a nice range of movement. 
his joints at the top of the legs, top of the boots, knees, ankles, you get everything. You get exactly what you need. Um, and so really the wrist joints that so they sort of move up and down as opposed to in and out, I think that's a wise move. I'm interested to see whether they go down the indie route and do the sort of ball peg. Uh, for now, I think this is fine. But just the sculpt overall is really nice. I think the likeness is pretty damn good. You know, I was watching, uh, I was just re-watching uh, Sith Lord 229's review of this one the other day. And yeah, I gotta agree with him and then say Hasbro's always had a bit of trouble with getting Mark Hamill's face absolutely correct. But, you know, I've always said that, um, you know, his face, he, he actually looks quite different from film to film. Um, and he does go through a lot of changes through the film. Just as an actor, you know, as a, as a person in real life, he did, does change quite a lot in between, so. But I think this one's done really well. It's definitely have this as, you know, your Mandalorian light cruiser, put him on your Mando shelf for just a Luke Skywalker, just an awesome Jedi Knight Luke. You know, just being the being the hero the galaxy needs. Sort of after the Empire. And going around cleaning up. He's fantastic. Excuse the dog. <laughs> but yeah, there's Luke. Imperial Light Cruiser, one of my favourite figures of the year so far, I'll be honest. Along with the Cal Kestis, I think they both are fantastic together. I know the timelines don't really match up yet, but um, you'd love to see them together. Luke with a slightly older Cal Kestis, I reckon that'd be just awesome. During the time of Jedi Survivor, Luke would only be about 14 or 15 years old. There is Luke Skywalker. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. Let me know what you think. Looking forward to that next version of Luke. And we're very, very much overdue for a uh, an update to a new hope, Luke. So hopefully that one is on the horizon as well. But yeah, thank you all very much for watching. And uh, may the force be with you, always.